Hi folks, this is Benny Hull, the old stump bumper. Our show has been on TV for over 30 years. We welcome you all to come along the old stump bumper in search of exciting TV footage that is suited for the whole family. We'll show you how to catch them and how to put them in the boat. Our program has been brought to you in part by these great sponsors. Mountain View Nissan, Lisa's Golden Diamonds, Flegel Insurance, North Georgia Equipment Sales, Branson Tractors, Action Air, QB Water, True Turn Hooks, Roadrunner, Deachi Blood Hooks, The World's Sharpest Hooks, Weatherby Guns. Now let's see what our adventure is all about today. We I got another one. You sure have got a good one. Oh, there's a fat one right here. You have got a fat one, I mean. God, he bummed. Look at this fish. That's a sauger there now. Nice fish. That is a sauger. Welcome folks to Stump Bumper Outdoors. I got a couple of good action uh, programs here with you today. It's a sauger pike, but we uh, call them jacks in the old days. That's what we'll be at you with uh, Rick. And it's quite an experience for him. He's a quite a bass fisherman. We've never tried this uh, trick on catching sauger, so he had a great time. And then part two in the program, we're gonna be trolling on Chickamauga Lake with a young buddy of mine, Kyle Sanders. We'll be pulling the Hot Lips Express on a windy fall time day, but we had a great time. And it's a good thing we uh, were trolling. We couldn't fish any other way. This wind was kicking so high. But it's a deadly way to catch bass. Old Kyle had a great time here and also had a great time with him. Hope you folks stay tuned and have a great time with all of us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Bassmaster. Portions of this program has been brought to you by the Beaujolais Flutter Spoon, Key West Center Console, and Rocky Boots. Hi folks, this is Benny Ho, the old stump bumper for Branson Tractors. I'll tell you what, I've been using mine for over six years. If you're looking for a tractor, they don't get any better. Mowing, backhoe, front end loaders, and more. Branson. The best with sales and service, top notch. Go buy North Georgia Equipment Sales and Service at Rock Springs or Somerville and meet the nice folks. They'll treat you like family. Branson Tractors, they just don't get any better. I guess that's why they're number one. Hey folks, this is Benny Hull. I've had my insurance with Flegel Insurance for over 40 years. They have been a great company to deal with. In 2017, they're celebrating their 100 years in business. Flegel Insurance represents over 20 carriers, and that's a great thing there, I believe. You've got a good choice of the companies you want to go with. They insure vehicles, boats, trailers, homes, life, or health insurance. Come see the great folks at Flegel. They're great people to deal with. Lisa's Golden Diamonds on the corner of Battlefield Parkway and Alamar Street invites you to come by and check out the Tri-State's largest inventory of platinum, yellow gold, white gold, and sterling silver for those birthdays, anniversaries, or any special occasions. Lisa's Golden Diamonds has all your favorite designs, beautiful diamonds and solitaires or clusters, and they're all at outstanding savings. Compare prices, quality, and selection, and you'll see why your friends and neighbors recommend Lisa's. That's Lisa's Golden Diamonds, corner of Battlefield Parkway and Alamar Street. Welcome back to Stump Up Outdoors and Tennessee River Jacks, which is technically the Sauger Pike. We're going to have some fun here today with, with Rick Blanchard. I appreciate you joining up with us. Let's go fishing. Man, you've been putting it on there. Yeah, yeah there got... it is again. All right, Rick. All right, another Sawyer Brown. Yeah. That's a fat one there, buddy. Meaty Sawyer. A fat Sawyer, buddy. Good deal. Fish. Good deal. Good spot, Stump Bumper. That's a sauger hole, ain't it? Nice fish. We're all over. Great spot. There he is. <laughs> Come on, i tell you what. Stump Bumper knows where to, where to fish. <laughs> you put it on him, buddy. Good you spot. Put Old Dan Hull ought to come on, Sidney. That's right. He'd be all over him, wouldn't he? <laughs> well, there you go, Rick. Right. Man, that's some fine eating right there. Thank you for taking I, it. That's a two and a half pounder there. Oh, yeah. 
Every bit of it. Solid fish. Good deal, Ray. Good deal, man. Well, you know where to you know where to catch them, Danny. I mean, Benny. <laughs> Daniel T would be proud, wouldn't he? Yeah, he'd be proud to eat them. What he wants. <laughs> this is the hole right here. You been putting it on, buddy? Put me on a good spot. Oh, sauger! You got one. Them saugers are some fun, ain't they? They are fun. A light tackle and good eating. There he is. All right. He ain't quite as big as the other, but he's a good one. Ah, it'll work, though. He's a good one. Way to go, Ray. Way to go, buddy. All Pretty right. fish. Pretty on the plate, aren't they? Yeah, really. They're the best eating in the river. Oh, yeah. Pretty fish, too. And this is uh, middle of November. There's now starting mm. coming in for the season. It's really, it's pretty comfortable out here today, too. All this noise here up here is these people working on the bridge. They're working on this uh, highway to go across Watch Bar Dam. It's got a lot of noise in there today. Love this water. Love this fish. They will get you a small mouth for long. Small mouth, striper. You're not particular, huh? No, anything will work. <laughs> Let's show the folks what we're using here. Using a slip sinker. Crimped about a foot above the. What kind of hooks are these, Benny? The Hachi, that blood hook the Hachi makes. Blood hook. Yeah. And then a basic shad. About a one ounce. Popping it right on the bottom. I mean, a quarter ounce sinker with a shine of men on there, and they can't stand it, can they? They can't. They love it. Here's another. Here's another on our big man. I'm due. I hadn't had one in what, about three minutes? <laughs> yeah, you're getting about every two minutes now. It's been about three minutes. <laughs> it's getting slow on us. I think you've got about 10 alive well there. Just oh, bam, yeah. bam, bam. In no time. Got the hot hand. That siren you hear, they're letting the boat through the boat chute over here. That water be boiling up there in a few minutes. You know, clear out of there when you hear that siren over there. About to open them up, aren't they? Yes, sir. I imagine that stirs up the fish too, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Yes, it helps. Got another one. You sure have. You got a good one. Oh, there's a fat one right here. You have got a fat one, I mean. God, he bummed. Look at this fish. That's a sauger there now. Nice fish. That is a sauger. We've got three or four like that, though, Jim. Hey, I swear we haven't moved out of this hole. <laughs> Yeah, we come up here a couple hours ago. I said, let's try this hole right here. I used to soccer fish in. We hadn't moved yet, have we? Hadn't moved once. Anchor's been down the whole time. Turn around where you can see him. God, there you go. There, yeah. Blew that right hand. How right. is that? Now you can see what they look like. That's a pretty fish right there. How about those teeth? You got them, ain't they? They're good eating, too, aren't they? Oh, the best, the best. Tell you what. Open them jaws and let the people see what them teeth look like. Spread them jaws open there. There you go. Yeah, you got some pretty dent, pretty dentures <laughs> on him. Look at that. That's where you sink them things to the bone too. We're gonna hit your finger. Cut your line if you're using too light a line. They can take a minute off easy. They're taking lots of them, haven't they? I tell you, we haven't been short of bites. There he is, Ray. Sweet baby. Get him, Benny. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, saw your Boy, Benny's put us on the sauger hole today. That's on Elmo Taylor, my Look fishing there. buddy. His spin jig he makes. Let me get close up of that spin jig. Oh, yeah. Elmo Taylor builds that jig. Nice looking jig. Good looking fish. That is one of the best spin tails I've ever used, if not the best. We use it up on Watch Bar a lot. Uh, it's where Elmo invented it, where we, where we use it a lot in the wintertime. Get small mouth. But I'll tell you what, Elmo, it does a good job on these saugers, buddy. It does a good job. Looks that way. We're mixing You've up the worn them out today. We're mixing up the minnows with the jigs. In fact, we ran out of 
ran out of minnows and yeah. had to go to the spinner. Oh, Jacks. Good looking fish. Good job, Stump Bumper. Old Daniel T wishes he were with us, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. He'll be a whining one. <laughs> <laughs> we might let you eat a few, Dan. <laughs> he can clean them and then we'll let him eat them. Yeah, beautiful fish, though. That is a pretty fish. Looks just like a walleye. Throw that ready, spinner ready out. That fin up there. What you ready that fin up there? Look at that. Said, I'll stick you, It's like boy. in a defensive mode. I'll, I'll stick you. Keep flipping like here, boy. There you go, Benny. All right. Just how many can we put in this boat? <laughs> can, you believe, can you believe Dead Eye Dan would rather be deer hunting than catching these? Dead Eye Dan, Dead, he'd rather deer hunt, ain't he? Dead Eye Dan would rather deer hunt than be out here catching well, let him deer hunt. We'll catch these That's big right. saugers. That's right. We'll just catch these big saugers, won't we, buddy? Good. We sure will. Yeah, them pretty teeth, ain't they? Sure are. Hold them up there sideways. The old timers back in my days call them jackfish. Jackfish? Yeah, everybody, their name is sauger, but back in the old days, everybody called them jacks. And they're related to a, a walleye, right? Walleye, exactly. They're cousins of walleye. They look like, a lot like a walleye. Yeah. Yeah, Dan, you step on that deer stand, deer hunt. We're gonna clean out That's these right. saugers. He's freezing. He's freezing. Not not shooting anything. But you know what? We'll let him eat a few of them, won't we? Oh sure. If he'll clean them first. <laughs> we'll let Dan clean these, and then uh, <laughs> we'll eat them. Good deal. How many you got in that live well? Almost got, got our limit. Hey, gum, ten a piece. You limit. Yep. We probably got about 14, 16. You've been like killing them, ain't you, son? We're killing. Them. Tearing them up. Huh? I appreciate you taking me. Oh, you're welcome. That's worth $350 a day. I was going to say, how many of these do I get to catch for $350? <laughs> <laughs> many well, as I want, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, I'm having a great time. Great time. Well, good. That's the main thing. This is, this is the first time I've ever been solder fishing. You're old lamb boy, you. And I can't believe how many we've caught. You'll be wanting to come back up here, won't you? Yeah, can we do it tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> You're probably already booked, aren't you? I done sold you on these Key West boats. You went and bought you one, didn't you? I went and bought me one. I got the um, the 196 Bay Reef, and I love it. I yeah. love it. They're nice boat good fish. solid out. boat with Yamaha 150 on it. They're good for salt water or river either one. Oh, yeah. They'll handle the rough water. You can take them in the flats. Great boat. Good boat for the money. I'll tell you what. While you try to catch another, let's go hear a good word from Key West boats. Let's do it. They're mighty fine people. We'll be right back, folks. A portion of this show has been brought to you by the Outdoor Channel, Marine Service Center, and CHA, the world's finest water. And this morning's fishing forecast is brought to you by True Turn Hooks. Today, sunny, clear, and a high 65 degrees. Slight breeze out of the northwest. Looks like it's going to be a fine day for fishing. This weather report is brought to you by True Turn Hooks. Every serious angler knows you can hook more fish with True Turn Hooks. Hey, Daddy, I got another one. Get two great magazines for the price of one, plus a free fish-catching rapala lure. Midwest Outdoors Magazine and Tennessee Valley Kentucky Outdoors have come together in one great magazine, loaded with information real outdoors folks use every day. Fishing tips, hunting strategies, and much more. Get 12 great issues for only $14.95. Call 1-800-606-FISH and subscribe today, plus a free rapala lure. Midwest Outdoors Magazine, over 40 years helping people enjoy the outdoors. Call 1-800-606-FISH. Ready to go fishing? Rocky Brook Sinkers, the original limestone fishing sinker. See that sinker slide through the rocks? They get fewer snags and come loose more often when snagged. They naturally blend in and have a loud rattle against the creek bed. Sinker packs start at just $1.50. The best deal is our all-season 126-piece quick order with sinkers and hooks for just $19.96. Rocky Brook Sinkers, more than just a sinker. A portion of this program has been brought to you by Weatherby Shotguns, Lure Jensen, and the Stump Bumper Fish System. 
Welcome back to Stump Bumper Outdoors, part two, fall time bass. Joining up the old stump bumper, a young fishing buddy of mine, Kyle Sanders. We'll be pulling the Hot Lips Express crank plugs down these sloughs, catching the old largemouth bass. Thanks for joining up with us. Gonna be fishing the old stump bumper here, pulling these Hot Lips Express. I'm doing some patrolling. You ever done any trolling? No, this is my first time. Is it? This is a lost art. People don't troll no more, Kyle. And I don't know why. Well, I know why, because a lot of people just don't do it. They don't know how, probably, you know, because the old timers, and I'm not throwing any spears on nobody, but the old timers years ago used to do this kind of fishing. My dad, when I was a kid, trolled and trolled and trolled on this lake. We'd catch, it wasn't nothing, catch three to five to six pound bass doing this all day long. But it's hard to find that many big ones now, but you can still catch a lot of two and three and have a great time. But it's a very effective way to fish, pulling these crank baits. Matter of fact, it's so good, uh, it's against the rules to like, use this kind of a uh, technique in uh, bass fishing. You can't uh, troll lures in bass terms because you catch too many bass. <laughs> you know, they won't say we'll let you do it. <laughs> but it's a, it's a great way to, to catch bass trolling and around these sloughs and, and around these islands. Just have a good time. It's just a different way of fishing. And uh, it's a lost art. Like I say, people just don't do it anymore. And the way I do, I put a 20 to 30 pound leader on here on my plug and I go up the plug and I go up the line here Kyle about three feet or four feet let me show you here there's a swivel right here on the other end that connects your line and that there one of the reasons for that because you you're bumping that uh, plug against rocks and stumps and it'll cut your line so I put that heavy line on there plus that swivel keeps my line getting twisted mm -hmm. so uh, that's what it's all about man you know these these uh, you know these uh, plugs are doing right when they're digging bottom and they're doing the Watusi. They're hitting that bottom and knocking them stumps, hitting them stumps, hitting them rocks, and making them bass mad. A lot of times them bass don't even feed, but that plugs down there doing the Watusi, bouncing off them rocks and stuff, and they'll grab it just an instinct. They'll grab it just they might not even be feeding, but them bass will grab that plug. A lot of times you can tell that because that hook will be right on the edge of his jaw where it made a swap at it. It'll be right here. You got him, big boy. You got him, big boy. Bring him to the house. Way to go, Kyle. Way to go, big man. Looking good. Old fathead. <laughs> fathead. Come around. Let me move this rod over here. Move this side over here. There you go. Bring him to the house. Oh, there you go, Kyle. Broke the ice, buddy. Oh. We'll stop it about a foot in that swivel. Oh. There you go. And there's flame right over in the boat here. We'll take care of you. Come on, sweet lips. Come on, Pop. Ain't bad, is huh? huh? Ain't bad, fat head on Hot Lips Express. Hot Lips Express. I love you. Good chunker. No going back. But you have the privilege to put him back. You caught him. The boat hooks the fish, you just take it out of the rod hole and start fighting. That dirty ain't touched bottom good, he grabbed it, Kyle. Do you know that? Yeah. I mean, he just went down there, bam, he grabbed it then. Look at how fast that thing is. Will you believe that? Uh -huh. That thing's a chunk.
a good little rock pile. You don't look for stuff if you throw telltale signs. There's some rock piles. A lot of times big bass hang around these rock piles. Kyle, here's something else about this trolling. This wind, folks, has got up to 15 and probably a gusting 20 mile an hour, and you can't work a spinner bait, crank bait by just working along the bank with a trolling motor when it's this way, but you can still troll. So this won't hurt you trolling. I don't care how high the wind gets, as long as it's in reason, you can keep fishing and trolling even in a high wind. So keep that in mind when it gets real windy. Just don't go to the house and say, well, it got too windy, we're coming home. Let's go home. Just let you out some lines and, and do what we're doing and troll, and you still catch fish. Even if it's real, real, like I said, even the wind really clocking along high wind. Hang to the house, Kyle, you done got nothing on, son. Oh, there you go. You death on these bats. You death on these old bats. Hot lips of death on them, ain't they? Hold the head up, Kyle. Bang to the house. Good boy. All right. Pretty fish. Way to go, Kyle. Good man. A good boy. Young man, there you go. <laughs> Portions of our programs are brought to you by these great sponsors. Tennessee Valley Outdoor Magazine, Daiichi Blood Hooks, and Bullfrog Sunscreen. Hi friends, this is Benny Ho, the old stump bumper. You know Action Air has been in business for nearly 30 years, making homes and businesses around the whole area more comfortable. They also specialize in replacement systems, service and repair of all brands, and they have annual maintenance plans to keep your system running at peak performance year round. And Action Air has 100% satisfaction guarantee on all their services and installations, and they have upfront pricing, so there's never any surprise. Prizes. The owners, Kevin Horn and Eric Dunn, believe if you operate with integrity, not only will they earn your business, but they will earn your friends and families as well. And all their professional staff takes pride in their work. They train on all of the latest technologies and will treat your home as their own. Call Action Air today at 423-842-5575 or visit their website at callactionair.com. Folks, this is Benny Ho, the old stump bumper. If you are looking for a great deal on a new tractor or any kind of a mowing equipment, it is worth a drive down to Somerville, Georgia to check out North Georgia Equipment Sale. Their brands and tractors and equipment is only the best. And when it comes to mowers and weed eaters, Husqvarna, it's not only the best, they have financing at 0% on 48 months. Just see your dealer for details. Save money on outstanding sales and service. Give North Georgia Equipment Sales a visit in Somerville. Captains and guides have known for years that the blood red color triggers the natural feeding response in fish. Fish may ignore popular colors, but they can't resist taste testing the bleeding bait color. Now you can combine the world's sharpest hooks and the natural feeding response in fish with Daiichi's bleeding bait hooks. In tests across the country, Daiichi bleeding bait hooks outfished ordinary hooks as much as three to one. Whether you're worming for bass or chumming stripers, you'll catch more fish with Daiichi bleeding bait hooks. I like to bring out a youngster whenever I can, and I don't get to do it as often as I'd like to. I'm still on the road staying much and, and doing projects for uh, some of their networks, Outdoor Channel, ESPN, some of those boys, they keep me so dang busy. But every chance I get, I like to get out on the water with the youngster and share tips with them. And, Keep our sport alive, because folks, that's what's going to keep this uh, this activity on fish and hunting going. Is, is taking young guys like uh, Kyle here fishing, hunting. He's getting ready to do a hunting trip with his dad. They, they turkey hunt and deer hunt together. Likes to fish. I, I'm I'm glad to see you like to do all these sports, buddy. Just keep after it. I will. Appreciate you joining up with me. All right. Kyle Sanders. Appreciate Tony letting him come out and fish with us.
it, me and his dad's been uh, friends for many a year. This is Old Stump Bumper, thanking you for watching the Southern Sportsman. You can catch us each week on Fox 6 to 1 at 6.30 a.m. If you want to see more, go to our website, BennyHall.net, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make a kid happy and take them hunting and fishing. And I'll see you again on the water. And remember, let's all fight against water pollution.